this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna spend New Year away from my family. I really wanted to go to Sudway, but very impossible. But then I'm still so excited. I couldn't understand English, but God opened the way. Because I'm gonna go to South Africa and learn something about Jesus. Aside from the animals that we saw at the safari, I remember the ants in my room. I was so amazed that I said, Lord God, you really did create a lot of things. Even the chicken that woke us up. They do have chickens there, but they looked different. They sounded different. God is so creative, and He is a God of variety. We went to a local church, and we painted the small chapel, kitchen, ceiling, and wall. For me, it's very good. Since I didn't need to speak, I just paint. One of the days at Third Wave, we were all given the opportunity to spread out and head all over Johannesburg and find different service projects to take part in. My group got assigned to attend a, an AIDS orphanage home for children who had lost their parents to the AIDS pandemic. Our main responsibility was to go in there and to love and to hold and to play with these kids who, had, who don't have anybody to love them, to hold them, and to tell them that they're special and that they're worth something. We found and we saw and encountered Jesus in that place. It changed my life. When we went back from the Hector Peterson Memorial, I saw everyone's depressed faces like everyone is still in a state of shock, imagining the cruelty that these people went through. In the Regina Mundi Church, there were bullet holes, and I remember the broken hands of the image of Jesus because the soldiers shot them off. After that, I was processing everything, and I said, Lord, what can I do? Because in my country, although we have a democratic system, there's oppression. You see people without hope. There's a big gap between the rich and the poor. I want to do a lot. Then God told me, start from where you are. The first time I went to the prayer room, I felt a big burden for my country. I saw it too from the others who went there. They were writing it. They were drawing maps, like the one from Argentina. And I said, Lord, you are really raising up leaders here that will be used by you. I want to be used in my country. I cried. I could also feel the other young people's hearts as I saw them writing prayers. I also saw young people writing in the prayer room saying, Lord, send me here. Here are my loaves of bread and fish. It was an eye opener and I saw prayer and talking to the Lord expressed in many different ways, not just closing our eyes and sitting. It was my first time to really worship with all the different nationalities. And what was interesting about it was that everybody was singing the songs in the languages that they speak, French, Portuguese, Pidgin, Spanish, I'm amazed that we can all speak in different tongues and still be worshiping one God, a big family singing the same song in a different language. People always ask me, what is heaven like? And often in my mind, I take myself back to that moment, seeing people from 55 different countries all worshiping God together as one.